to show you how bogs are made, Oliver and Noah need some bark from trees, sand, cotton wool, peat, and sphagnum moss. So what's the plan, guys? We're gonna make bogs in bottles. One's gonna be a raised bog and one's gonna be a blanket bog. What's the difference between a blanket bog and a raised bog? Well, blanket bogs are usually formed in places where the ground is hilly and there's lots of rain. And raised bogs are usually formed on flatter ground in lakes. Let's make a blanket bog. First, they're putting in some sand. This is like the soil that the bog would have started forming on around 5,000 years ago. Now some peat, just like the peat that formed on the bog from squished together plants. That's enough, Noah. It's now it's time. your turn to do the bog. Next, some tree bark. This is like the wood from forests that grew on the bog around 4,000 years ago. Then more peat, like the peat that would have formed from the dead wood and other plants on the bog. Making a bog sure is a lot of work. And finally, sphagnum moss, because that's one of the most common plants found growing on bogs. And finished. And finished. And now for the raised bog. Hmm. The cotton wool is like the white clay that would have been at the bottom of a lake around 10,000 years ago. Now some peat just like the peat that would have formed on top of the clay in a real raised bog. Then some tree bark, because thousands of years ago, forests would have grown on raised bogs as well. Next, more peat, made from all the dead trees and other plants in the bog. And finally, sphagnum moss. In a real bog, this sphagnum moss turns into peat by dying and getting squished together over hundreds of years. But luckily, we don't have to wait that long. Oh, you. <laughs> Look, there they are. Two bogs in bottles. And now you know how bogs are made. Yeah, thanks Oliver and Noah.